Hi, I'm Garrett Town with AM Solar, and this is Sean Wilson. We found some clothes that belong to the previous owner. But more importantly, this video is going to be covering the array layout, the combiner box, and mounting on an Airstream Epic Proportions. So here we are, um, end of the week here, and James and Ben have been working away to get us to this point. Uh, this is our 866 watt roof. Uh, we have seven uh, ZAMP 98 watt panels, these kind of rectangular guys you see here, and then we have two of uh, ZAMP's 90 longs. Uh, these panels are oriented in three groups of three in series um, to produce the voltage we're looking for, and it uh, looks really good, really clean, uh, not a lot of cable runs because of the series. All right, if you look closely at these panels, you'll notice that the ZAMP 90 watt long panel has 36 half cells to give it an operating voltage of about 18 volts. Whereas our custom 98 watt ZAMP panel uses 39 half cells to give it an operating voltage of about 19.5 or 20. And the current of the panels is gonna be the same because they all use half cells connected in series. So with that voltage differential, it causes a bit of a problem when you connect panels in parallel. But the series connection for our three by three configuration isn't gonna be an issue. The voltage is going to cause one of our strings, the string that uses two of the 90s and 198, to be at a little bit lower voltage than the other panels that are just three strings of 98 watt panels. And in a lab, you might see that this causes a slight reduction in performance, but out in the real world, we haven't been able to measure any differences in this. And um, the moral of the story is, nine panels with this slight mismatch in voltage is gonna give you more power than eight panels where everything matches and our goal is to try and get as much power as we can on this roof and this configuration does that. So here's our panels um, and I'm actually going to talk to you guys about how we mount these panels down. So we use uh, AM Solar's proprietary mounting system which looks like this. Um, it's all stainless steel. It is a 35 millimeter clamp that actually grabs the panel and then this little uh, L foot, three hole L foot, gets mounted onto the roof. So how does that actually get mounted down? We use here uh, no screws at all. We just do VHB, um, 3M VHB tape, which is a really high bond um, double sticky sided tape um, that actually gets adhered down to once the roof is, surface is cleaned to the roof. Um, and then on top of that, once that's down, we use in this application Cicaflex 221. It's an uh, adhesive and a sealant, it's really strong stuff. Um, it's completely marine uh, rated so it won't get old um, if it gets wet or anything like that. So that's actually how the panels feet themselves get mounted down. Um, and before you mount them, to make your job look really clean, we're going to want to actually line the panels up and there's kind of a specific way that we do that. Um, the frame on these panels is kind of what we look at first, so you just kind of eyeball down um, the line of all the panels and line the frames up. Um, and then kind of make a mark as to where that is. And then the second thing we do is we actually look at the cells themselves <laughs> uh, to see these lines right here, if they are lined up. So there's a little bit of tweaking. Um, we usually line it up once, check it, kind of make a couple adjustments, do it again. About three or four times into doing it, you'll get a really straight um, roof layout. Um, and then we go around, mark them, clean that surface and adhere them down. And that's our uh, mount mounting process. So here we are on the top of another um, roof that we're working on this week. Just to, I wanted to give you guys an example of what this foot will look like when it's completely sealed. Um, and so that's kind of the, the key to keeping these um, feet really adhered to the roofs, is allowing that BHB tape to not get um, damaged or have uh, water get to the tape. So that's why the Cicaflex is here. It goes all the way around the perimeter and entirely over the top of it. Um, and it has a ton of adhesion force. We have never lost a panel um, that we've installed um, out, in, out in the real world. So these guys are really on there. It's a great way to keep um, from penetrating the roof with a ton of screws. And it's just a really strong uh, mount process. James is a master with the Cicaflex. Last time I did it, I got it all over my shoes. What he's doing is burying the whole mount foot to protect the 3M tape from the weather. One thing we really like about the ZAMP panels is that their frames have this groove along the entire length of the bottom of the frame. That allows us to mount our frame, I mean our 
put our mount piece anywhere we want along the panel without having to drill holes and possibly void the warranty of the panel manufacturer. And normally we put our panel mounts right at the very ends, but as you can see on these 90 watt long panels, we slide them in a little bit. And with the Airstream roof curvature, um, the mounts typically sit like this, but if you had to do one that was like this and you needed to keep it vertical, you just take a little bit of the bend out of the mount foot and then you can get it to fit. So we're gonna be looking at this combiner box we have up here. This is a named solar combiner box. Um, it is the only roof penetration that we're gonna have in the entire roof. So it's just this uh, single or this uh, six gauge two uh, cable going down that'll go to the charge controller. Um, and we do a really good job to seal that. This combiner box, just like the rest of these solar panels, is actually just uh, 3M VHB taped down. And then we have a uh, bead of sealant around it to keep it nice and uh, sealed up uh, so we don't have any water penetration. You notice these three holes that we have in the combiner box are actually where the panels are gonna enter. And we use these guys, this is a weather type. Um, if you can see that, this is specifically an MC4 weather type, which has this little uh, rubber grommet on the inside with two holes in it. And the reason it's like that is it's, uh, it's designed to pass two single 10 gauge cables through here, um, which is how we are doing our roof array because they're in series. So we are only actually gonna have three ports up here because um, they're, they're brought in in groups of three. In the combiner box, we have a, po a positive and a negative bus bar. All the negatives just gonna get pulled right here. All the positives gonna get brought to the positive bus bar, and then that power is supplied down to the charge controller. Just a quick pointer while you're routing um, wires through the roof. So after you've got your pilot hole up, you're gonna wanna go up on the roof with the proper sized hole saw after you've sized it up to the wire and you're gonna to wanna to drill through layer by layer very carefully. So once you've penetrated the first layer, you'll wanna stop the drill and pull it out and take a peek down, make sure that you're uh, not gonna hit anything down below, push the insulation out of the way. Uh, it is possible you're gonna hit Romex if you're not careful, especially if you're near an air conditioner because there's really not too much air conditioner or AC wiring through the roof, but the air conditioner is one exception. So you're likely to hit that if you're going directly on the side of an air conditioner so shouldn't say likely it's not something that's going to happen too often but it's something you want to look out for so make sure you peek in there and if you do see any wires be extra careful push them to the side and uh, don't hit them while you're drilling down